Okay, so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at modeling a spaceship in 3ds Max. Um, the first thing we're going to need to do is set up um, some blueprints to make it easier to model the actual ship. Um, so if you just load up your material editor here and in a new tab, new material, just fire up bitmap and browse to the plans. And you can see we've got front view, side view, and top view. So we'll just load in the front view first and we'll just call this material front and we'll do we'll do the same for the side view. Go up to parent and we'll just call this material side and then the same on the third material go up a level and we'll call this one top and we have front side and top materials so the first one we need to do we'll do the um, top view first so just make a plane in your viewport apply the material and make it visible like so you can just turn off your grid by pressing G if you'd like to now obviously when you bring in um, apply a material to an object it just stretches to fit the object so we'll see if you see that you can so you can see we're actually distorting the image as it is at the moment nice easy way to fix this is just to check your material and have a look at the size and we can see that's 1323 by 504 so if you just remember that 1323 by 504 504 and so we now know that that's a kind of perfect fit for our top view. So let's just check the side view plan here. We can see that's 1323 as well, so these are good plans. So what we can do is just clone our top here. We'll call this top, call this side plan. I clone then by holding shift. Um, when I moved and that will just create you a clone so just like that let's cancel that and then if we just rotate this 90 degrees now if you're finding it's not rotating on like a perfect number just turn on angle snap up here you can toggle that with A and when you rotate you'll see it snaps to 5 degrees which makes it much, much easier Okay, so we'll apply our side view, make that visible, and we'll just check the height of that image. That's 432, so we'll make our length 432 as well. Um, and just a little trick here if you come up here, you see you've got snaps toggle, we'll just turn that on, right click, uh, and just set it to vertex and endpoint if yours isn't already set turn that off and now you see I get this little icon and if I just select the lowest vertice on here and drag it hold and drag it onto the plan there you'll see it'll snap kind of perfectly to there and then I'll just turn off snap um, it's S is a shortcut for that by the way okay so we've got our side view and our top view so let's just set up our front view as well so we'll just browse to the front view here, and that is 632 by 453. What can be useful actually if you um, just make a notepad document, you can write these down. 632 times 453. And then in our left view here, make a plane like so apply and make it visible check out so 632 by 453 
so I did have it the right way around. So with this one, we might need to actually just check the size. And you can do that easily enough by just kind of lining up to different bits of the actual plan. You'll find this happens with a lot of plans, you know, they're not perfect. So you'll be getting blueprints off the internet and things, and you'll find they're not quite right. And so it just takes a bit of tweaking, might as well spend a few minutes just tweaking them to be as kind of accurate as possible. We'll just check that kind of lines up with the bit there as well. That's pretty good. Let's we'll position that so it lines up with the uh, engine area here. Okay, sorted. Okay, so we now have a nice kind of set of plans that we can make our model from. Um, so one thing you'll notice actually is if you flip round, rotate round your view here, it's actually black on this side and that's because each polygon actually only faces one way. Um, you can fix this in a couple of ways. One way is just to clone each view and apply a normal modifier to it and that will flip it so it faces the other way and then you just bring it bring it right in close. The other way, and this is depending on your graphics card, is to just right click on your view, go to lighting and shadows and try enable hardware shading. And then on each of your materials just tick on two sided. Browse up to the top level, two sided top level two sided and that will display like that so I'll stick with that technique since uh, my computer is fine with it and you can set your other viewports to it if you want to depends if you're going to need them for that or not okay so at that point just save your uh, scene as Spaceship.max 